going to be the start of a mini series of sorts um, having to do with hand sewing. I do a lot of hand sewing um, hours a day if I have my way. Um, sometimes just 15 minutes a day uh, depending on what I have time for but I really enjoy hand sewing. I find that it's very calming and therapeutic. I like that repetitive motion um, and then I can keep my hands busy uh, and feel like productive and creative while you know listening to a podcast or something so um, I highly recommend hand sewing and today's tool is also a tip that I find particularly relevant right now. Um, where I live in the Midwest, the temperature is changing a lot and the seasons are starting to go from fall into winter. And if you're anything like me, uh, my hands, my skin is very sensitive. And right now, at this particular time of year, it's very dry. Now I'll give you kind of a disclaimer before I keep going. I'm gonna be talking about like dry skin and flaky skin and that's not your jam. Cool, you can swipe or move on whatever you want to do to avoid that content, but um, uh, we're going to um, talk a little bit about keeping your hands um, moisturized as you're hand sewing and why that's important. Because it doesn't seem like it would be important, but it is. So the tip, or the tool I should say, that I'm going to share right off the bat is keeping some lotion in your sewing basket. Now. Why is that so important? Why is it such a big deal? If you do hand sewing on a regular basis, um, I'll show you, for example, the needle that I use. Now, if you are a hand sewer or have ever done hand sewing before, you may be thinking that's a really big needle. <laughs> I don't use a needle that big. Um, that's true. I use, this is a large needle. I use much larger, longer needle than most sharps or um, milliner needles, um, but that's a whole other video. The point is that whenever you're hand sewing, it doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed, you're moving that needle through the fabric. And as you're moving that needle through, you're using your fingers to push that needle along. And wherever that needle is pushing against your skin. If you're new to hand sewing, it may puncture or tear your skin a little bit. Um, that's just bound to happen. It's like learning to play the guitar. You, you start and it feels really um, painful on your fingers, but after a little bit, you develop calluses to help you play better. And then you have to apply less pressure because your fingers are just used to that. Same with hand sewing. You're applying pressure, usually right here on the edge of your middle finger, maybe on the tip of your middle finger, or on your index finger, maybe even on your thumb as you're pushing that through. You're not really going to get a lot of pressure on these two fingers, just because you don't use those two fingers really to push the needle through your fabric. Like I was saying, when you're putting pressure on that needle to move it through the fabric, it's going to tear your skin maybe. It's going to, if you have very dry hands, cause some of that skin to like flake off and either get on the fabric or when you go to pick up your fabric, your dry skin is going to get caught on that fabric, which sounds gross. <laughs> is kind of gross, sorry, but that happens. Keeping lotion in your hand sewing basket is a really easy way to keep that from happening, to protect your skin, and to make hand sewing just a lot more fun. So that's my tip for you today, and my tool tip for you, keep lotion in your basket. Um, we'll be going into all different kinds of tools and tips, recommendations that I have for hand sewing, but that's my first one for today.
Let me know what you keep in your hand sewing basket.